Central Helicopters is a helicopter flight training and charter service operating in conjunction with Canada College for commercial helicopter flight training. The course is a two semester program full time. It gels the Transport Canada requirements for 100 hours of flying and 80 hours of ground school with the provincial requirements for a certificate. Well, our main expectation for these guys is hard working, good positive attitude, uh, willing to adapt to anything. That's the main thing, the attitude is everything for this industry. Uh, lifestyles changed a lot in this course. Uh, before coming here I was a little more laid back, but coming into this, I just, they kind of show you what the real world's like, so you learn that you got to pick up the slack, and it's an awesome program for that. They give you a lot of hands-on experience. Here at Canada College in North Bay is one of the best places in Canada that I've ever been that you can, for doing flight training. You've got uh, unlimited access to crown land around here. Things that I look for or like to see in a student coming into the program, um, a lot of enthusiasm, certainly a lot of energy, a lot of get up and go, a lot of excitement, a lot of fun. This job is incredible and to take it from here and carry on throughout the rest of their lives, they need all that and it's only going to grow with them. It's a really small class. so. There's huge advantages that not only with teachers' help, like I said, the teachers are always there for you, but they also have more time to give to each student individually instead of us as a whole class. We're looking for people that are very ambitious, you know, and, and willing to really put a lot of effort into it and uh, show a lot of initiative, stuff like that. Once we see that in them, we know they're going to go a long ways in the industry. That's what everybody's looking for in this job. Basically when a student comes in, what we like to do, we hop in the helicopter, we kind of give them a rundown on everything, just get up flying, get comfortable up in the air, you know, figure out, you know, are they nervous with heights, are they uh, nervous with this or that, you know, and what are they enjoying and confused on, kind of get a general idea of where that uh, student stands. My first solo, that was one of the sweetest days of my life, that was really cool to fly a helicopter by myself. and. Uh, that would be my highlight so far. The courses we provide are well above what Transport Canada expects. Um, we, we make a point of that. Uh, we're very, very involved with our students, both you know, at the school and personally. So we know what they're doing all the time and we know what they're getting out of it and what they want to see come out of it. The instructors are phenomenal. I needed a lot of help. We had uh, some speed bumps getting my medical sorted out and uh, they just did everything in their power to help. The instructors, are they're awesome. You, you think you're going to be intimidated by them, but they all try to get to know you on a personal level so that it makes things easier for when you're flying a helicopter or anything. It seems like a lot of in-class paperwork, but at the same time you're getting probably the same amount of hands-on touching the aircraft and physically learning how it works. We provide a lot of extra courses, winter survival, underwater egress training, Bell 206, airframe. They're just bombarded with courses, so coming out of this program is, is definitely a benefit for them for what they learn and what they get out of it. Since I've started this program, it's been just really intense, uh, time intensive, mind intensive, and surprisingly just like, yeah, nerve demanding. We not only teach that, yeah, this is how a helicopter flies and this is why it flies, we're trying to instill in them, teach with them the attitude of a good pilot and carrying them forward and making sure that you know, their jobs are going to last. Our survival is uh, the ability to uh, keep yourself alive and in the case of aviation, in case uh, force landing uh, during the winter time and uh, we're, we're instructing them how to do it in the boreal forest region which is mainly the uh, greater part of the landmass of Canada. That was something I've never done before. Yeah. Really cool, you got a chance to actually be out there in the field, put some skills to use that they taught you and that you have the capabilities to be able to handle any situation like that. Winter survival is a challenge. Um, but it's a, it's a challenge that uh, when you're done is re well rewarding and uh, if you can survive in the winter time, uh, you can pretty much do it any time in the year. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, not just setting up a camp and uh, hanging out for a few days. You, you got to work at it. Everything from uh, just from lighting fires to getting a shelter up is a, is a huge challenge in the winter time.
The underwater egress course is designed for any pilots operating an aircraft over water, whether it be summertime, wintertime, ocean, lakes, doesn't matter. It's designed to go hand in hand with that kind of operation. In the event of the aircraft having an emergency or having a ditch in the water, the main concern is how do I get it when it rolls upside down or when it sinks. And we train them on not to panic, how to egress out of the aircraft safely, different techniques and uh, tips that will definitely help them progress through this course and you know hopefully keep them alive if the situation ever happens to them. They're going to get a lot out of it and uh, in the industry there's so many different jobs out there now that require either offshore flying or some kind of uh, operations over water where the demand might be there for underwater egress training. Once the students are finished this course, I think they're pretty well prepared for just about anything they're going to run into in the industry in an entry-level position. They've got a lot of training, being dispatchers, fueling aircraft, just day-to-day -day operations of how to run a helicopter company. The sky's the limit for us, pretty much. We can go coast to coast, uh, operate in cities, up north, uh, sightseeing, up in drill camps, whatever. The helicopter job market is a vast one as much as it is a small one. They can expect to be working in bush jobs, they could be overseas, they can be working for medevac or air ambulance type jobs, they can be in tourism. Anything we do, they can find themselves situated close to it. Right now I'd go out west, do some logging, and the good thing is all these companies know of Essential and they know their reputation, so being here is a good start. A lot of flying helicopters is not just about the technical aspect. A lot of it can be your mental aspect and how you treat other people and how you react. It's pretty impressive to watch someone come in with no experience and watch them progress through the course and in eight months our Canadian commercial helicopter pilot that can go out and work in the real world. That's pretty impressive in that time frame and uh, I get a, a great kick out of watching the guys and girls come through this course. You gotta love this to be able to do it, I think. 